Welcome back everyone to day 5 of the Minecraft Parkour Challenge for November 2015 where it's raining. Ah, and I just remembered that I believe near the end of the last episode I was talking about something about making a shovel. But I didn't actually make it. So let's go and do that now, though I don't think I'm going to be able to do much building today because it's raining. And we have that. Ooh! Spider! Spider! There are probably creepers around also, but I can't do much about that. do want to keep out for the creepers because yeah, if one comes around I'm in trouble. Well, at least if I'm not prepared for it. Alright, good. That takes care of that. Now, I heard a spider around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Alright, now that got me some string. I don't know. I felt a little laggy there for a moment. Uh, I don't know about that. All right, before we do anything else, let me see what I got here. I have two string. Good. I can make a fishing pole. Good. Now, unfortunately, this is not... Actually, it's good weather to fish in. The tricky thing is, well, am I going to have to worry about mobs interrupting the process? Because... I believe you got a better chance of catching stuff if it's raining. I don't want to run into that witch. And I've never had a liking for swamps because creepers have a way of finding me when I'm in a swamp. Especially when you're distracted by doing things like fishing. And, of course, I can't see anything in here. I'll just have to make sure that when it gets to the nine-minute point, I get into underground very quickly. And... Yeah, this is too dangerous. Mm. Well... Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, well, there is my first fish. My thinking is, if I go to a place where the creepers can't reach me, at least not easily. Alright, good. Uh, that's darker than usual. That's why I was afraid of that. And that's why it was darker than usual, because we've got a thunderstorm. That's a... Whole new perspective on the situation. Alright, I think... I think I'm going to have to put something in here to indicate that this is home. Alright, well... That didn't last very long. Ah. Yeah, I caught one fish. <laughs> yeah. One fish. I'll put that in there until I have some more. Then we can. All right, we can combine those together, throw that into there. Let's do some digging then, because unfortunately, there's not much I can do when it's thunderstorming. Well, I guess I could try to get myself killed. But that sort of kills the purpose of the MHC, I think. The idea is to survive, not to get yourself killed. In fact, I think there's a rule that 
says you're not allowed to kill yourself, which is a rather a strange rule to... Or actually, I think the rule is in place because of the no one dies on day one rule to keep people from saying, oh, I don't like my situation and it's almost the end of day one. Let's get... Let me go and kill myself. Of course, I guess some people might just do something reckless. I didn't kill myself. Oh, actually. If I'm going to be doing anything here, might as well go down to 32. This up here. Oops. Up here. So I do want to build that house. Unfortunately, it's hard to build a jail. Alright, let's see. Alright, well. That should be relatively safe there. Yeah. Nice place for mushrooms. Good. Lots of mushrooms. Oh, for a moment there, I thought that was some sort of huge creature. But no, it was just. Now that's a creature! <laughs> And you know how much I love creepers. Oops, that's some of my precious... Mossy stuff. Now, it looks like that creeper is not following. Maybe it's behind some barrier or something like that, which... Won't upset me all that much. The only thing that would have set me really into that creeper is if it came here and blew me up. So I don't think I have anything important enough here, well, except for that one life that you get in MHCs. But... At least if it exploded and I survived, I'll be able to... just put up my shield, you know, by putting up my shield or something like this, the hole I don't think will create too much damage in the long term, which is the other thing you'd be worried about. Because there are some times when I'm more worried about what the creature will do when it explodes than killing me, especially in some place like Mage Rage, where <sighs> switch them! Yeah. Where it's just an inconvenience if you get killed. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, I wonder. It's, all right, let's stay away from the gravel until at least I... done that. Uh, yeah, there's a cave down here somewhere. And I know that's a huge shock. Pay attention. You don't want to die in an MHC due to gravel falling on your head. It's embarrassing enough if you do it during a mage rage. Doing it dur during an MHC would be really heartbreaking, right? Now there we go. <sighs> Torch. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Room there, I thought, oh, was that a... No, it was not any iron. Either. Still check for iron every once in a while. Let's see, how much iron do I have? I have two pieces. Not much in the way of that, but at least there isn't anything I really am greatly needing at the moment. So, if I'm going to... Alright. I'll keep that out for now. Good. And unfortunately, it's getting to be night now. See, if, if this weren't a you're not allowed to sleep in bed thing, I could 
consider sleeping in the bed, but that makes it hard. I think one of the reasons for the no sleeping rule is in addition to making sure that you don't miss the nights is that, all right, you've got eight. You're going to go through full days. And that's what you're recording. It makes it nice and easy to keep track of how long things are. Ooh. Wow, this is a nice haul of coal. It might even be giving me enough for the rest of the series. You can't always be too sure. There have been times when I thought, oh, I got plenty of coal. Oh, well. Oops. I could spend a torch in order to keep this thing a little bit better lit. Now, what I really loved was to have gotten some iron because it looks like my pickaxe is wearing out. Now, I do have I don't like the look of that place. Not at all. Hmm. So we'll skip that little bit. That's where we right. Did I manage to get myself lost? Well, that wouldn't be the first time where I've managed that little, neat little trick. Uh, uh, oh, actually, I think that's where I grabbed all the coal from. Ah, hold on. No wonder I got lost. I got rid of my little stairway. Hmm. Well, this does mean that I'm gravel was the best thing to put there, but all right. There you go. I should have plenty of mushrooms now. Actually, now I have more reds than browns. Well, mobs all over the place. Probably because we just had we ha really haven't had day in quite a while. Mm. Yeah, definitely full night now, but at least the thunderstorm is over. So maybe we could actually be able to do something outdoors tomorrow. Mm. I guess next we are going to absolutely positively be needing to start building. And one of the things I'd like to, two things I want to get built are, of course, the jail itself, which are, is going to be very important. And the other thing I'd like to build is a, ooh, what is that? Okay, there's some mossy stone brick. There's some. And the other thing is a nice fishing area so that I can safely fish in the swamp, including even at night, because that way I won't be spending my nights digging and all that stuff. Now, let's see. I've got three here. I am going to have to make myself a pick. Well, I guess I was expecting probably have to make a another pickaxe. What? Wow, this place sounds like it is full of mobs all over the everywhere. Yikes. I'm going to be scared to go outside in the morning. So I suppose if I kill a couple more spiders, I might be able to Oh, that's right. The first pickaxe never completely ran out. <laughs> I was wondering why do I still have a pickaxe here? Right, because that happened right at the borderline of the morning and it didn't completely run out, it just mostly ran out, so I might as well 
finish up that little bit there. And I wanted to go down to 32. That's right. That was the thing. All right. So now I'm at 28. Let's uh, head out here. Let's see if I can find any iron because some iron will come in handy, especially since I'm now down to my last pickaxe. Of course, I could make one from cobble, but they're never as good as the iron ones. You might find some gold. You could make a gold pickaxe. Pretty good pickaxe, is a The problem is they don't, their durability is really, really, really bad. I wonder if anyone's ever put mending, if you have mending on a gold pickaxe, how would it do? Problem is, you're probably going to be putting mending and efficiency and stuff like that onto a diamond pickaxe. Because if you're going to a place where you could afford to make a gold pickaxe and get all the stuff. Oh, of course, if you're going to get mending. Oh, actually, mending is treasure only. It's an interesting thought. I've used up my, and I was thinking earlier, I had all the coal that I need. <laughs> I didn't think it would be in the same episode where I'll say, oh, I have nowhere near as much coal as I need. <laughs> oh, boy. I thought it would at least be a few more episodes before I uncovered the nasty truths of not having nearly enough. But that's the way that happens. I need to keep there. But at least I know that. Oh, speaking of coal. We'll take care of this. But I think I caught the episode change early enough last time that I'm not going to be caught up short this time. Because last time I, I didn't hit. I was. Well, short of the 20 minute mark when it was time to call it off, I was somewhere about 18 and a half or something like that. Which meant that I ran a little bit over on the two episodes before that. Probably blabbing away too much near the end, because that's. That's certainly one way to do that. Now, let's see. We have here. I figure we've got about a minute and a half before I have to worry about signing out. I was about to say, oh boy, we're going to have plenty of coal there, but... I already teased myself out of that one time today. I'm not going to... <laughs> Say that and prove myself. Well, at least I don't have enough time for the episode in order to prove myself wrong this time. Unless I do something stupid like make four stacks of, stacks of torches all at the same time, which could really use up your coal quickly. Well, I don't even have enough torches to do that. But no iron in that direction. Well, too bad. But what I really want to do is do some building tomorrow because I need to build that that jail and I didn't get a chance to do oh my goodness gracious. Oh <laughs> oh and all the excitement, all that Wealth of iron I had stuff like this, I just realized. I do not have right, all I have left is two more iron to smelt and I never made iron bars. Ooh I guess I'll have to worry about that next time because it sounds like things are starting to burn up. And that's it for today. I'll see you next time for the next episode of the Minecraft Parkour Challenge for November 2019.